When we first got over here to the Philippines, one of the main activities we wanted to do with the children was to do art projects. But upon arrival in Okoy village on Bantine Island, we quickly found out that these children had no usable space for any creative activities at all. Here we are with an impromptu drawing session. Everybody else is painting the sides of the house and we got a bunch of little kids. I got them distracted with art and crayons. Let's see, it looks like we're going to be doing some houses. We got a house and a flower. Everybody seems to have drawn a house, which seems to be what every kid draws so far. When we give them crayons, they draw a house because every child wants to live in a happy home. And we just get to build one for under 500 bucks. So that is not bad. Not bad at all. Upon completion of the two-story house for the kids, we now had an upstairs area where the children could do all kinds of games, activities, and most importantly, lots of art. At first, we gave children crayons and paper to express themselves creatively however they chose. Later, we worked together to teach how to draw classes where we showed various ways to draw birds, fish, and animals. We got uh, lots of stuff for the kids to color with, all kinds of crayons, color pencils, different books. What they do is they pull out the pages book, and they the and they share the paper. Drawing book. Drawing book. And then uh, so we got a drawing book. No, yeah. And so yeah, that way all the kids could be upstairs here uh, doing some art and playing and make do being uh, all creative like kids love to be. See, come down. Here's Trevor teaching his first art class on this trip. It's not my first art class. It's not your first art class, but on this trip it is. Because yeah. we're done building the house. So that's finally done. We chose an ostrich. Ostrich. We're gonna draw an ostrich. Show it how it's done. So first you draw a circle for the body. So everybody draw a circle and a leg, like this. Circle and a leg. A cir there's a circle with another circle here for where the head goes. Yeah. Here we are with the kids and their pictures that they drew. This time we were drawing, we were drawing um, ostriches. So these are these are pictures of the ostriches that the kids drew. You want more paper? Here's the, let me see the ostrich that you drew. Show the ostrich. There's the ostrich that she drew. And here's the ostrich that this guy drew. And that's not an ostrich. There's an ostrich. Very beautiful, beautiful ostrich. Okay, so next we're going to be drawing a fish. And they're crowding me. They all want to see what their picture looks like. <laughs> Here we are with the kids. We're doing we're doing some drawings. They're drawing fish. Right now they're drawing fish and oh, there's nothing there. Ostriches, fish and ostrich. So these are the different drawings that were that the kids are doing. There's a fish. Let me see. Oh, and there's an ostrich. So we're all up here doing some drawings. And they keep wanting to show you the pictures, so that's why you're just getting white. So the next project, the next art project is working in pairs to color birds. This is a little Audubon bird book that we have donated. And they're going to color. Hi James! Hi! Beautiful picture! Beautiful picture! So first they drew birds, they drew an ostrich just like we taught them and now they're in pairs coloring just doing different colors good job this is cassandra over here and erika working together as you can see from all the glowing smiles the children are thrilled to use the art supplies that they normally cannot afford to have access to we are so grateful for the many donations we've received to make all this possible you're just as much a part of this as we are Follow us and donate so that we can all see more projects like this continue to happen.